Hey guys, Steve Harris here at Without Code. Today we're having a look at the new Instagram feed widget. This allows you to embed your Instagram feed on your site so that your latest posts and images are pulled in automatically. You can see on the demo here, we have the Muse Themes Instagram feed embedded. And if we mouse over an image, we get this eye icon that lets us launch each post in a light box. And then we can scroll through using the arrows. We can also click the Instagram icon button in the bottom right and that opens up the post itself on Instagram. Let's jump over to Architect and I'll show you how to set up this widget. So here I am on a blank page in my method theme. And if I go over to the widgets panel on the left and I scroll down to the social section, you'll see the Instagram feed widget. Let's just drag this out into a new row. So as you can see, once the widget loads, it pulls in by default the Muse themes Instagram feed. So the first thing you'll need to do here is get your own feed set up in the widget. So there's two steps. In the panel, it says the access token and the user ID. So first we need to generate an access token based on the specific account we're using. So if we click this link, it says access token generator. It brings up a page and this is provided by Pixel Union. This will allow us to generate that token. When you click this button, it'll ask you to log in. Now I'm already logged in to the without code Instagram account. So I'm just going to click generate token and it comes up saying it worked. So I can just copy and paste this into this field, just like that. So next up, I need to put in the user ID. Now the user ID is the first eight to 12 characters in that token above before the first period. So let me just highlight this so I can confirm I'm at the very beginning and here's our first period. So I'll copy that, paste it in the user ID field and hit enter. Now when the gallery loads, it's loading up the without code account. So that's all there is for setup. Now we just need to go ahead and style the gallery. So in terms of settings, we can open up each of these dropdowns and we can go through various settings. So we have thumbnail settings. We could change the number of columns. And when we do that, the widget's going to calculate the perfect width per image based on the number of columns that you want. We can set the number of thumbnails. Now remember, the higher number you go here, the slower the gallery is going to be to load. So I'm just going to set this for now to 12. That looks good. And now I'm going to change the thumbnail height. I want these more to be kind of a square. So I'm going to go up to say 300 on the height. So as we continue to work down, you'll see tons of settings here. This is for the overlay opacity when we kind of mouse over each image. We can change the font family, font sizing. The view icon size is the little eyeball icon here that launches each of the images in the light box. I'm gonna change the thumbnail padding here as well. Right now it's set to zero, but I want this a little bit bigger so that there's a gap between each of the gallery images. So I'm gonna go up to 10. There, now there's a little bit of space between them and it's looking a little bit better. Next up in our panel settings, let's close this and we have load more button settings. So if I scroll down to the bottom of the widget, you'll see a load more button. That's going to generate more images from the feed. So we can go ahead and style up the load more button by changing the text and the font sizing and the width. We can even turn that button off if we don't need it. And in the last drop down here, we have the specific settings for the light box. So when I click that drop down, it gives us all of the settings that you'll see for the light box transitioning between slides, the speed of transitions, overlay opacities, and a whole bunch of on and off options. Just to remind you what the light box looks like, if I go back to my preview here and I click any of these eye icons, this is the light box area. So all of the settings you're controlling within this box here are for that light box. Lastly, we have the design tab. And within the design tab, you have things like color settings and then we have some spacing options. So this is just going to let you change, say this overlay color, font colors, the load more button colors. And then of course we can add some spacing to the gallery itself. So that's the Instagram feed widget, very simple to set up and it works beautifully for displaying your Instagram photos on your site. Thanks again and best of luck with this widget.